I'm at a gypsy. That's why I'm not really messing with any of like I don't really want to mess with any of the Moto Girls type of thing. You know what, mate? I'm proud of you. I'm quite proud of you. It's a very hard. It's honestly. I've, I've gone like I've had this talk with Johnny and my dad, like and Hunter. Mm. He's got a girlfriend, so he knows what it's all about. I was gonna like, say you d- you probably just seen all the bullshit. <laughs> You're like, I don't yeah. want to th- I don't want to go Dude, through I that had just my yet. First experience in uh, Germany of my first party, and you'd think because I'm such a fun guy and cool guy that I'd love parties. I absolutely hated it. I wanted to leave it like in the first ten minutes. So what? Set the scene for us. Paint the picture of this party in Germany because Euro yeah. parties are pretty dope. Paint the picture. It was it was for like a birthday party like type of thing. Oh, they okay. had a strip. They had a stripper there. Fuck yeah! Not mad at it so far. Which already started off bad because when the stripper came out, I was so focused on my phone, I was playing a game, and she ended up <laughs> throwing like something. She ended up rousing at me in German. Uh, which is kind yeah, of an yeah, angry yeah, sounding. It's, it's like an angry sounding language anyway, even when they're not mad at you. Yeah. So. She ended up throwing something at me. I don't know what it was. I don't know. I don't want to know what it was because I was playing my phone and apparently not watching her, which I didn't really give a crap at all. Yeah. I she yelled at me. I'm like, what? And then I end up going back on my phone again. And then at the end of the night, there's this girl bawling, like basically bawling her tears out. I'm going, what the hell is going on here? Apparently, some guy leaked her, was showing other guys her, yeah, private photos that she sent to him. Uh, and okay. she's, she's crying about it. And then typical me, I was 14, smart ass. I go, uh, well, you shouldn't have sent him out in the first place. And she just <laughs> looks, she's there. And I was in the, like, behind someone. And I said that. And she just looks at me this like. From a 14-year-old kid. Death. She's like, what do you know, mate? She was like, I think she was 16 or something. And I'm like, just tell them the truth, sorry. <laughs> truth hurts. <laughs> but um, yeah, I ended up hating it. Yeah, I mean, dude, you can look through... <sighs> call any writer that literally like basically lost their career to partying. There's so many... There's so many guys so many guys that you could literally get their number and call them and be like is it worth partying when i'm 16 and getting all this money and chicks want to fuck finally and is is it is it worth it is it is it long term the move and i guarantee that not one of those dudes would say yeah bro partying sick because like you can yeah i'm 32 bro i could party right now like by by 32 can you imagine how much shit you could have won and like the the position that you could sort of put yourself in life versus i mean you start all that shit now dude and it's just like man you just you cap yourself so much like it's a short career and you want to do yeah and I, i suppose too like you look at all the guys that have done well dunge never partied Villapoto, never partied. Carmichael, never partied. It's like it's not a secret formula, man, but it's so hard when no. you've got when you've got the girls that are around the scene. Like they're they're good looking girls, dude. Like it it is hard to say no to that yeah. stuff. Especially when it comes so easy. But it's like, I don't know, man. You could like I said, you can look at all the guys that sort of did it and where they're at now and I'm sure what if they were all being honest with you, what they actually would say if they got the chance to do it all again and I'm pretty sure that partying is probably not on that list. And also, to be honest, buying hurricanes is probably not on that list either. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm dying at age 30. Like, dude, yeah. I'm, probably, I'm not going to race all my life, so I'm... I got to like maybe 27, 28, yeah. so I retire or whatever. And then after that, dude, I can go party, which I think I probably won't, because I like I'm I'm the I'm a typical typical Australian. I like get togethers, a good barbecue, you know, bonfire. <laughs> I'm that type of person. So, and like, dude, I think I'm so into like riding bikes. Like, dude, I have a I bring a skateboard with like I'm so into so many things. Yeah. I still feel like once I retire, I still won't even be messing with that thing. So I know it's just like it's not a must have. Yeah. Like 
So I, I'll probably still do on writing, just maybe doing what Tyler Beerman or Twitches, the grandpa, like. Yeah. I'll be still doing stuff. So I still think I won't have time for that. And during my, like, during my career, it's it's not, like, like I said, it's not a must have, not a must need to do. Yeah, I'm stoked for you. That's really cool to hear, man. It's very, very, very hard. And it, and I'll be honest with you, it will get harder as you get older because there'll be more people and yeah, it sort of, it definitely, definitely gets harder. But I think one of the cool things like, dude, Myrtle's a fucking G. He's been around this sport yeah. for so long. Your brother's such a good example for you. You come from such a good family. I don't, I don't think it's exactly going to be a, a worry for you, but it's, it's really cool to hear to hear you're in that in that headspace, you know. And because oh, so many people, man, it's just like once you get to the dance, people like to party, you know. And you're at the dance now. Yeah, like, dude, just imagine like hearing that your career got messed over because of a girl. Mm. I, it's it's happened. happened to, I would be so disappointed. Mm. I would feel so crap that all of, like, my family has gone through to give me this opportunity to what I am at now and then go and waste it. I feel like I would want to put a gun to my head. Mm. Yeah, like, I that's mean... That's how crap I would feel. 